You're watching Teffin.ca, and this is a video on the Cooler Master Jet Flow 120, and it is in crazy speed and amount of airflow that it pushes. So, we're going to start off by looking at the box here, and as you can see, it says fan speed 800 to 2000 RPM. Okay, so we're going to see what the real world situation is with that. Well, we got one right here. There's uh, two of them actually, both hooked up on the same port. And uh, no, actually, um, how did I manage to do that again? They're both hooked up to case fan ports and the controller for that uh, changes them both at the same time. So, anyways, with further ado, um, those are both pushing through an Arctic Cooling Freezer Rev 2.0, I think. Um, or Freezer Pro Rev 2.0 or something like that. So, uh, yeah, I kind of rigged that up. So we got that there, and we're going to see what's going on here. Well, we have those on full, uh, pushing through that CPU cooler uh, air type here, and we're looking at about 2,300 RPM. So 2,296, oh, 2,003. So that fan 2, and channel fan one so about 2300 pushing through that you get the case their package that it comes with says 2000 max so uh, something something not totally accurate there it's uh, actually faster than what it says well now we're gonna come over here to this computer and we got one there and another one up here and that's pushing through a Corsair H75 and there's also a screen for air dust filtering on there as well and there is some dust on it so that equals this one here CPU fan I've already uh, know which ones lead to which, so that's going at 2200 RPM so 100 RPM less than the air cooling method but keep in mind there's also dust in the filter and now this is a fan that's on the bottom of the case and it doesn't have the greatest airflow. there's only uh, not even a full inch for it being propped up and even despite that it has no other obstructions though. Um, it's going at, I'd imagine it's probably more than near the full speed, and that's 2,450, 2,430 RPM. So over 2,400 RPM. So I imagine with the, out the obstructions underneath, probably about 2,450, 2,500 RPM max on these fans. So, yet it says 2000 on the back of the package, so it makes you have to wonder uh, with using these extra uh, adapters here that you can be able to attach to it what speed it would end up going at. So, I might try testing out in another video attaching them on and also attaching it to the motherboard still so you can be able to adjust it and see if it adjusts the reading on that or not and how that works so and then I'll uh, upload that video and we can see how much it actually reduces it to uh, in the real world compared to what it's telling you the adapters do so uh, anyways that gives you an example of how incredibly fast these uh, jet flow fans are actually spinning at um, it's no surprise that they're pushing out 95 cubic feet a minute, so it's an Im some impressive stuff there, Cooler Master, but um, I mean, with from what I've tested, I don't see why uh, you wouldn't go ahead to just 
even post on the package that they're pushing like good 2400 rpm instead of saying 800 to 200 so um anyways i uh, hope you enjoyed the video um if you want to check out some more come check out teffen.ca and thanks for watching